Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am coming to you today with a little short video. I'm hoping that this video is going to be short. Uh, this will be my video that is up next, so it will be up Friday. Um, I just un uploaded a Target haul for you guys, and this is just a video addressing kind of what has been going on in my city over these past, like, two weeks. Um, so many people have heard about this, uh, people in the United States, people over in other countries, and I haven't even gotten into it, and I'm already starting to get emotional. Um, okay. Uh, I live in Charleston, South Carolina, for you guys who don't know. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be like, don't tell anybody where you live, don't give anybody cities, this, that, and the other, blah, 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 whatever. Um, at this point, I am not large enough on YouTube for it to really be a concern for me. And to be honest, I don't really care right now, and I'm not going to be here for that much longer. Um, I mean, I will be here for a while, but um, we're, we're going to be moving. So... Um, I just wanted to address what happened last Wednesday, why well, last Tuesday, last Tuesday, Wednesday night, last Wednesday night, um, sorry, um, my freaking camera is going to die again, I'm going to get really pissed off really quickly, um, there was a, uh, massacre, uh, mass murder that happened last week in one of our churches in downtown Charleston, and, um, my husband actually went to school with the youngest uh, victim. His name was was Taiwanzo, and um, my husband just kind of you know been going through that. And he played football with him. He grew up with him. He was like you know he was such a spirited person. He was so nice. He was very um, very soft voiced, and um, but he was so passionate about his education he just graduated in 2004 from college and um it hurts that this has happened and i don't know why i'm getting so emotional right now like i haven't really been that emotional about it um uh and i didn't personally know any of these victims uh or um the the boy who did this, um, God, <laughs> but I feel for those families and I am so incredibly blessed and proud to say that I am from Charleston because of just the strength that we have all shown and the fact that we have all come together and the things that have happened just since then and because of this i truly believe wholeheartedly that good is going to come from this good has already come from this yes there are some things that are going on that in my opinion i think are incredibly stupid and people need to not make it about those things because that's not what this is about this is about we need to come together we don't need to focus on other things we need to focus on being there for these families and celebrating the lives of the victims who lives were lost but we need to celebrate the life that they had and the things that they did get to accomplish while they were here on this earth and i know that there are probably so many things that they wanted to accomplish that they didn't get a chance to but we need to remember that god is in control of what happened and is what going to happen you know now and going forward we we have no say so. We are not the ones who need to punish him. We are not the ones who need to seek revenge. We need to forgive him and pray for him and his family because his sister was getting ready to get married and she canceled her wedding because of this. I am so sorry for her that she had to do that or she felt the need to do that. Um, and I'm so sorry for his family that he did something like this and if that if they are hurting or um if any member of his family or anything like that had anything to do with him doing this um i feel for them and i am sorry for them and 
you know, we're all praying for them and we need to not wish bad things upon them or Dylan. Um, you know, we need to, we need to raise our children for us who have young children that can still be taught. We need to treat the, we need to teach them love and kindness and equality, but we need to teach them those things. We don't need to teach them to hate people and um, neglect people and all that kind of stuff. I was not raised that way, thankfully. I did have some members of my family that were, they weren't racist, but at this, at, in this sense, they kind of were. And um, I am in no way racist. I, there's no difference between me being white and a black person my stepsister is half she's um her my stepmom is white and her father happens to be black and so what who cares she's still part of my family she's still i still care for her i still love her and you know it it shouldn't matter what skin color we are it shouldn't matter what religion ethnicity um sexual preference anything like that it should not matter that is their decision on sexuality in that sense but it's not their decision to be white or black but um you know that's just how we're born that's how god created us but just because somebody's gay or bi um bisexual like we should we we have no right we have no place to judge them to tell them that um, they are a bad person or anything like that at all and I cannot stand that um, I live my life the way that I live my life because that's how I feel and I know in my heart is the way that God wants me to live if somebody else feels differently about that then so be it and that is fine that is their decision and that's how they feel I cannot change that I cannot change anybody else. I cannot make anybody do things that they don't want to do. And I'm not going to try and do that. Um, for everything that has been going on with the families and in Charleston, I, like I said, I'm so proud to be part of this city, of this town, and of the amazingness of everybody coming together and being there for each other and you know, and this whole thing about the Confederate flag is so stupid. So stupid. The Confederate flag has nothing to do with what happened. Absolutely nothing. Um, for those of you who think that the Confederate flag is a symbol of racism or hate and violence, it is not. Yes. People and groups have taken it and they have portrayed it in that way. But that is not what it means and we need to realize that. The Confederate flag stands for honor and sacrifice and the just the amount of the just the amount of sacrifice that was made and not just for white people there were black and white soldiers that this flag represents and is in honor of um i don't know why but every time i talk about like this kind of stuff it, it gets me really emotional because in high school i really did not like history at all but now that i've grown older I know a lot of things about it, um, things that I didn't even really knew I knew, but um, I did, especially be living in the South and being from the South, I do know a lot of things just because that's, you know, you were kind of taught that growing up, and it's just kind of like the topic of subjects all the time. Um, and now it's being requested to be taken down from our state house off the grounds, and I just like from the Senate like so many people are requesting it to be removed and I just think that's ridiculous it is n 
It has nothing to do with these hate crimes and things that are happening. These other associations and groups have taken that flag and they have turned it into something else for themselves. We cannot let them take our joy, whether black or white or Asian or whatever, we cannot let them take the me the true meaning of that flag or our monuments and turn it into something different we cannot let that happen and like this guy who's trying to get the african-american monument taken down are you serious get a life get a life get over it like do you not have anything better to do? Do you not have anything anything else to concentrate and focus on? Anything better that is actually going to better our country and better our state, better the lives of people around us? Like, please get over yourselves. Please get over yourselves. I just, it pains and aggravates me so much, if you guys can't tell. Um, I know this is a completely different video, but I felt the need to voice my opinion on this and I just, I wanted to get it out there and I just, I feel so strongly about this. I like people saying we're going to take down the slave homes and the plantations and things like that. That is part of our history. That is part of who we are as a state. <laughs> they stay there. They are, you know, like historical things and all of this, all of it ties together. The flags, the monuments, the, um, just everything. It ties together and people need to realize that and people need to not open their mouths if they don't know the history behind things. Idiotic people really aggravate me. They really, really do. You can't tell that uh, this whole thing just kind of aggravates me and definitely gets me on a little tangent rant kind of thing. But um, yeah, just stupid people just aggravate me and whatever. I think that this is going to be it for this video. I just wanted to say that I'm so thankful and so blessed for so many people from Charleston um coming together as a unit and as one and just being there for each other and supporting each other and loving each other i could not ask for a better city to come from i know a lot of the times i say that i can't stand charleston and this that, and the other and i really i still feel that way but at the same time i'm proud to come from the south i'm proud to come from here i love this place but at the same time it can be very toxic and bad um in certain aspects because of certain people but um that has nothing to do with this at all i'm very thankful for being and um being from here and um, i'm so proud of charleston and i know that this is going to change a lot of things and i know that a lot of good is going to come from this good a lot of good has already come from this and a lot more is going to come and i can't wait to see it um yeah but um every video after this will be beauty if you haven't subscribed please do so please hit that red button and subscribe for me i will be doing beauty videos from here on out i just needed to um i just needed to talk about this and you guys are who I talk to other than my husband. So, um, yeah, and there's a fly in here now, and I'm going to murder it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm going to go pick up my husband and my kids now and go do something fun. I hope you guys have a great and wonderful day, and please remember to love each other and spread the love and good deeds. If you, I challenge every single person who watches this video i challenge you today or this week i challenge you to go out and do a good deed for somebody without any expectations of getting anything in return at all i challenge everybody to do it and please pass it on to family members friends whoever just keep passing it on i challenge you all to do that 
and I am going to do it as well and I'm going to pass it on to my family and members to do so as well because if we do that then so many more positive and good things will come out of it than if we are rude to somebody or anything like that even if it's just holding the door open for somebody or helping an old lady with her groceries or anything like that please spread the love the good deeds i love you guys thank you for watching this rant babble video um i hope to see you guys next time and i will talk to you guys later